Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. The Labor member for Morty Alec privately lobbied the Treasurer to exempt Cornish College in his electorate from Labor's school tax. In the letter, the Labor member for Morty Alec stated that the tax would be detrimental to the school Order. community. <laughs> Minister. Minister. In the letter, the Labor member for Morty Alex stated that the tax would be detrimental to the school community and that it would have substantial impact on the mental health and wellbeing programs on offer to school students. Is it government policy that schools should be forced to cut mental health programs to pay for Labor's financial mismanagement? Good. Treasurer. The member for a question, and uh, I'd make it very clear that uh, so far as the member for Morty Alec is concerned, you couldn't find a more sterling or substantial representative of his electorate. And might I say, a very good member of a Labor government committed to making that education is provided in a very substantial way by a government that has been investing in schools. Uh, the, the government, of course, has been making a very substantial effort in ensuring that there is fairness in the way that our payroll tax system operates. We can't have a system that effectively provides that the state, that, that state-run education has to, in effect, uh, pay the equivalent of a payroll tax number. But those opposite, but those opposite, of course, feel that private schools with with fee-paying incomes over fifteen thousand dollars should be exempt uh, effectively from payroll tax. Now, I understand that the member for Morty Alec a sterling advocate for those who come to him and seek a voice in this parliament, recognised that he had an obligation, an obligation to put a concern, whether or not it was one that he uh, uh, believed consistent with the government's position, or indeed one that he might privately ascribe to. But what I can tell you Order. is that Leader all of the members of, of parliament are welcome to advocate on behalf of schools in their electorate. That is, uh, and Three in fact, any other calls. constituent who becomes aggrieved. Those opposite might well say to them, don't come near us, don't tell us about your problems because it's not our policy. Right. We at least give a hearing to those who feel, to some extent, aggrieved by the choices we make. That in no way de derogates from this government's commitment and continuation to ensure that we have fairness in the way Order. that payroll Pressure. tax is applied. Resume his seat. On a point of order, member for Q. Order. Uh, on relevance, the question is specifically about cuts to mental health programs due to Labor's financial mismanagement. Order. 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 Treasurer was being relevant to the question that was asked. The Treasurer has concluded his answer. The member for Q on a supplementary question. Can the Treasurer confirm how many Labor members have written to him about the impact of Labor's school tax? Order. Treasurer. Order. Order. Well, I, Order. The member for her question. Order. Uh, but I can assure you that I speak to many members of this parliament, some on the opposite side, some on this side. Many of them sometimes wish information. Sometimes they seek clarity. Sometimes they actually want to advocate on behalf of concerns expressed to them by their community. So how many is the question? Well, uh, more than I can count have advocated to me about concerns for their constituents. And that is, that is appropriate. So far as this government is concerned, we will always listen to the constituents, to Victorians. But one thing we will never do is put in place an unfair and uh, a, uh, a, an unjust system that basically requires government-funded schools to pay the equivalent of payroll tax, whilst those opposite will advocate for preferred and special treatment for elite, high-paying schools paying more than $15,000 in annual fees.